hello there we're out again doing the next stretch of the wall so we're just leaving Walton and uh, there's a sign up there I don't know if you can see it so Newton a mile and three quarters that's the first bit so today we're aiming to do about 10 mile um, in the centre of Carlisle for the castle and uh, finish off there and then get the train back to Hot Whistle. Um, so yeah, lovely sunny day, end of July, about 21 degrees. So it's perfect weather, really. And uh, yeah, looking forward to getting back out. And then I think the next stretch from Carlisle Castle is to Barrow. Uh, on the Solway, oh, sorry, bonus on Solway, um, which is about one of our 13. So, yeah, see, quiet. So, we're just gonna get out, get some miles in, and uh, see what we see what we'll come up against. And, uh, yeah, hope to get a few views and. Uh, Head in the city centre. So we'll keep watching and we'll see what we can find. So just one mile in, come across this lovely little river. Great little uh, spot. You have kids and you fancy coming down for a picnic and a little swim. A few little fishes darting about. Nothing too big though. I don't know if the camera can pick them up, you can just see them down there, look. Little sticklebacks or whatever they are. You see them down there? Ah, well, it'll be a little spot. Next. Through the nettles of terror. Up around. Up the stairs. So, up to now, I'm really enjoying this walk. Um, so yeah, I think this is day seven, if I'm right. With one more to do. It's a bit like when I did the Great Glen, you sort of do one at the end. You know, you sort of think, you know, it's, I'm enjoying it, but I suppose get the end. I could always do it back towards the end. <laughs> I'm joking. There are plenty of other walks I can do. This one's handy though. With me missus living in Hot Whistle. It's been nice. Me mum and dad living in over by Carlisle. It's been handy for getting lifts and getting dropped off. But uh I would recommend doing it this way um, simply because like now you know a nice flat walk lovely scenery it's like a lovely way to finish off um, and then obviously get the coastline over in, this, over in bonus whereas doing it the other way you sort of finish in Wall's End and you know when I started there the first sort of 10 mile up until sort of you get the key sides, nothing special, bit of litter, you know, it's not the nicest of walks. But uh, yeah, a lot of people do it west to east, especially in the worst weather, because you, in theory, you've got the wind behind you. So if it's raining and it's windy, it's blowing on your back, pushing you along the wall. You're not walking into it all the time. But uh, yeah, if you're going to do it sort of July, June, July, August time, personally I would do it east to west. So there you go. I'm sure everyone's got their own reasons for doing it the way they do. Look at this though. Huh? There's all the sheep in the shade under the tree there. Dead peaceful. So yeah, loving this, loving it. 
continuing on, just getting a bit of breeze there. And there's uh, Austin Moor on the hard side. Oh, so warm. Nice, a bit of breeze. Oh, got plenty of water anyway. Right, I think we're just about to come to a place called Newton. Eight miles in. Nice little village I've gone over lots of times. I went with my mum and dad. As I've said on previous videos, very easy to follow the signs. Let's follow the acorn pretty much. I haven't got lost yet, which is quite an achievement for me. It always happens. I suppose the, the walk's not over yet though. Come on you, you get trapped in there man. Come on. Dear me. If there's a style you get trapped in this. Go on then. go this is Newton a new town new town yeah lovely in it lovely little place up place little village green over there look and even a bench there in the shade like, there's the same post over there and put the doggy bag in the bin so, let's begin the path. Let's see where the next place is. It says Old Wall, one and a half miles. So, off the Old Wall we go. See if you can make it out. That's Coil Air, sorry, Carlisle Airport. Just over there, and buildings are. You can just see the orange windsock, and uh, yeah, it's mainly used for light aircraft, I believe. Like sort of more like sort of hobbyists, is that the right word? But um, Eddie Stobart there's a big employer in Carlisle. He's, he's got all the trucks, the haulage company. Well, some years back, he wanted to make a big distribution centre here. Um, and I don't think the council were going to allow him allegedly and uh, he threatened to pull his whole operation out of Carlisle and um, all the haulage companies and his offices and obviously that would have led to local unemployment so the council said okay then I don't know if you can make it out there's like a faint grey building over there that's his distribution centre now and uh yeah, I'm not sure if he actually gets stuff delivered by plane or not. I don't know what he actually, um, whether the airport was just a big site or whether there was uh, some part of the, the airport you want to use for air freight. But uh, I believe he's got big plans for the future, you know, to start actual uh, commercial sites, to holiday destinations. So watch this space, eh? But yeah, there's a bit of useful useless information but uh, just keep heading west towards the city of Carlisle that's the lake district over there look behind them huts you can just see the faint outline of the hills mountains yeah beautiful place over there get back there again soon keep seeing all the YouTube guys wild camping and hiking in the lakes it's beautiful but uh, yeah, this will do for today anyway. So now we're just walking above the A696, heading towards the River Eden. It's called Crosby for half a mile. And then once you get to the river, basically you just follow the river 
into the centre of Carlisle, I think. So, I think it's probably about four miles to go. So, what's that? About a mile and a half, an hour and a half ish. So, Going. Little hut there, self service hut. Couple of little tents. Nice little spot. If you want to have a night here. So that's just next to Crosby on Eden. Come on, you, through the gate. I've noticed this little stretch, there's a lot more uh, campsites. I think that's about, if, if one I've passed, it's nearly every mile, compared to the other stretches, where there's very few. So someone's missing out on a trick on the first sort of 50 miles. Right. Only have a little bit. I'm gonna say it's called Low Crosby. Have you beautiful little church look? Looks like a really nice little village. That's beyond Eden. That's for a school. That's an original one, isn't it? Wow. And here's the River Eden. It flows down through Carlisle. The west coast. Yeah, he's cool enough. Oh. Lovely. It's quite low. Not surprised after all the hot weather. Having about three miles left now. Nearly there. That's nice. Right. Eight and three quarter mile in. A mile and a half left, I think. Near enough. And I think we're just approaching the, the M6. We'll go over it. Um, I haven't really done much video this this time because there's not a great deal of video. It's all just flat fields. Nice walk. There's another snowboard truck. And uh, yeah, but not a great deal. Video. There we are. That's going north to Glasgow. And that's going south. Manchester, Liverpool, Lake District. Uh, we're four now. This is, uh, the edge of Carl Isles just basically on the M6, so we should start going into more brewer up places shortly. And then as I say, just head down to the castle where we're going to call it a day and then head for the train back to Hot Whistle for a cold beer before I think I deserve it and bath, make have a bath a bath and a beer <laughs> that's a good idea hey look at that, could be a port 
Great. I'll be back back soon when there's something else to video. Catch us in a bit. Right, we've just entered Rickaby Park. Never been here before. It's quite nice. More war memorial over there. There's the houses. Start of Carlisle. We're just gonna walk down here. We're gonna pass a place called the Sand Centre, like a sort of sports centre. And uh, there's a centre place. There's a bridge over there. So the River Eden's just flowing down the edge of that field there. And we're about, um, about a mile from the centre. So yeah, we're just basically follow the river now. Um, past the sand centre, through what's called Bits Park, following the river to the castle. Whew, tired now, like. I've uh, 10 mile and three hours, 25 minutes, which is good going for me. More so on in the sun so uh yeah we got to see the finish but i have enjoyed it and then i think it's a 13 miler left to do so i might do that in two days two trips or one big one i don't know like i'm in no hurry to finish it so i might just do that do a seven and a six if you know what i mean and just enjoy it there's four lads walking the water, I don't know if you can see them. Just on the distance there. Got their rucksacks on. They must just be heading off the opposite way. So, you tend to see sort of nobody for an hour, and then you get clumps and no one again. Obviously, never mind, don't mind. Right, bring it back shortly, there we go. There's the bridge in the Carlisle, the old bridge. Bits Park's just on the other side. Across Bits Park. The castle. Oh. So close yet so far. That's 11 mile on the dot we've done. So, half a mile maybe. I reckon it was about 10, but what's an extra mile between friends, eh? So now we'll go over there, up, across the bridge, through the park. Oh, that river looks so inviting. Shame I didn't bring me trunks. Hmm. Think of the city now. Castle's just around here. Not far. That's what I keep telling myself anyway. There we are. Carlisle Castle. So that is. You see that? 11.6 miles. Oof. There we go. And the last section done. Time to get a cool drink, I think, mister. So, yeah. So we're just gonna cross this road, go up the, past the cathedral to the train station. So we're off to get the train. So I hope you enjoyed it. Sorry there wasn't much video on this one. But uh, yeah, you're getting insight in there. This stretch of the wall, anyway. Thanks for watching. Take care.